We're going to be working with a 595. This is a trailer unit. It's designed for a 157495, just the power unit itself without the trailer. For today's uses, we put gas in it. We've already checked my oil. I've already double checked my valving to make sure that it's on for the tank, off for the water to be able to go from the faucet. For the first time usage, you're, allowed, you're needed to unroll the holes completely. We've already done that one time, so we're only going to do approximately 20 feet is enough to be able to get to my job site. You have 100 foot holes. Reasoning for that is, is because once you run your hot water, the hose is going to expand, in which case it'll crush the inside of your roller on your reel. We're going to clip our guns. I have a gun holder. I'm going to couple that to my holes. Quick coupler on the end of it. We're going to be cleaning up a oil uh, stain in the black tom. We have all your nozzles will be on the back of the unit. We have a zero, a 15, a 25, a 40 degree, and a chemical nozzle. For this one here, I'm going to use the 25 degree so I can be able to cover more area with the hot water. We couple that in with our quarter inch coupler on the end. Here we have the heat switch in which you can turn on for hot water or leave it in the off for cold. You have a thermostat to adjust the temperatures you need to be able to remove what you're going to remove, either grease or dirt. So you can go all the way up to 250 degrees or as low as 160, whichever you prefer. There's two lights on this side here. One's a pressure switch that if there's no water flow, this will light up. So anytime you don't have your trigger pulled, this light is going to come on. That tells you the wiring's all good to the burner. This is a thermostat. That light will come on anytime it reaches the temperature that you have already set. We're going to need to uh, purge the water out of the holes so we have uh, good water, no air.